Hey guys, it's Miss Chrissy. Today is May 5th, and in the Mexican culture, they celebrate what is called Cinco de Mayo. In Spanish, which is another language, that translates to the 5th of May. It's a very important holiday where Mexicans celebrate the victory over the French at the Battle of Pueblo on May 5th, 1862. Many people in the United States commonly mistake Cinco de Mayo for the Mexican Independence Day. For many Americans of Mexican ancestry, this holiday has become a day to celebrate Mexican heritage, pride, and culture. Before we get into the song and dance, I wanted to introduce you to my dog, Duke. Duke is a Chihuahua, which is the smallest breed of dog in the world. Chihuahuas are named after the Mexican state Chihuahua, and since we're celebrating Mexican culture, I thought I'd show you something that originated in Mexico. Duke really loves to sing and dance all the time. He usually goes, whoo. All right, let's go. Okay, for the song and dance, let's get our maracas ready. A maraca is an instrument that is hollow and filled with dried beans or anything similar, and it's played by being shaken. I personally don't have a maraca, so I'm going to make a shaker out of a paper towel roll, tape, and popcorn. Okay, so first I'm going to put some tape on one end of the roll. I'm going to add our popcorn in. I'm going to cover the top with more tape and it might be easier if you kind of take some of the sticky stuff off the tape and then I'm going to tape both sides together because we don't want our popcorn sticking on the inside. I'm going to take more tape, secure it around. And then I have a prettier one that looks that should look something like this. You hear that? You can even take a small container or jar like this. All right, now that we have our maracas, let's learn some dance moves. In the song, you're going to hear different movements being called out like clapping your hands, jumping, spinning, and shaking your maraca. Let me show you how you can do that. You might need to have a helper with some of your moves. The first step is clapping your hands. This is what it looks like. And if you don't want to clap your hands, another way to move your arms and your hands, you could wiggle your fingers. You can tap your helper. Or you can move your arms up and down or out to the side. Anyway, it's up to you. Next up is jumping. This is what jumping looks like. If you don't want to jump, you can stomp your feet. And if you need to be in a chair or have a helper, you can stomp your feet like this. You can kick your legs out. Or you can move your feet up and down. The next move is spinning. This is what spinning looks like. If you don't want to spin, you can try swaying side to side. And you can do that in your chair too, just like this. And if you don't want to sway, you can turn your head from side to side. The last movement is shaking your maraca. And if you don't want to shake it, you could try tapping it with your fingers like this. You're also going to hear the word ole. Ole is Spanish, and it's an expression of excitement. Like we would say, hooray. Can you say ole? Or use your voice to express yourself? Let's hear it. All right, now that our maracas are made and our dance moves are ready, let's go check out that music video. Do any of you celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Let me know down in the comments section. It was
was so nice to talk with you guys today. I miss you all so much. I hope you have so much fun with the song and dance.